Good morning everybody and today on Epp on PGL's Garage we're going to get you all the information you need to install a 1.8T in a Mark II. Now what we're doing for today's DIY is actually just figuring out or getting you all the proper bracket information. So we're going to give you part numbers on front and rear uh, motor mount brackets and the proper bolts that you're going to need to actually do this and make this swap possible. Now this is only to mount. This is only to mount the engine. The next step will actually be uh, doing your mock-ups on your uh, wiring and all that. But that will be for future DIYs. We're just going to start. Uh, we're going to teach you how to put in the engine. So let's get to work. This is Pinchao's Garage. So, one thing you're going to need to focus on are your parts on this. So there's four brackets technically uh, to mount this in, uh, to get this in correctly. Three that go on the engine, and one that you have to go uh, put on the cross member. But we'll get to that point in a minute. So bracket number one will be your transmission mount. Now this comes off of a G60 Corrado. Uh, the part number will be. 357199353A and like I said it's a G60 uh, VW Corrado that this comes off of now there is a very particular spot where you need to mount it um, so I'll show you guys so you guys can uh, do this correctly so on your uh, if you're going to be used doing your swap with an O2J transmission, this is how you're going to do it. Uh, let me get you guys in here nice and close. Give me a second. Alright, that's better. Now you'll see here. There's three, uh, um, actually, the, there's already mounting spots for this uh, bracket, which is freaking crazy because this is for something for a different car. But it's pretty cool. So there's three holes one, two, and number three. The bolts have to come off of a G60 transmission because there are specifics in length. There's two really long ones, like this, and then one little short one right here now preloading your bracket here and then you'll see how this goes on you guys can see that with me and then just tighten your bracket down that's it you're done with that side now there's a rear mount over here on the back of the engine and you'll see that right over there hey babe okay. and there's four holes that you need one two three four and again a G60 Corrado bracket uh, part number five three five one nine nine three five four G60 rear uh, bracket mount. This is the next one that you're going to need to mount this uh, bracket. Uh, this uses four bolts. Uh, oh, now the bolts that I found, I pretty much got them off of a Mark IV. They work 
perfect. So uh, you'll see they're about this length. They're very specific in, in length and in thread pitch. So make sure you guys get that right. Yeah, there's three of them are going to be the same in length, and then there's going to be a fourth one in the bottom left-hand corner that's a little bit shorter because uh, it's a shorter mounting hole. All right, guys. So those are the four bolts that you need on the back of your engine block. Move my phone here. Pay attention to that very closely. It, the bracket only mounts one way, so there's really no way to mess this one up. Okay? So now your final bracket, and it's on the front of the engine. I'm going to twist it the other way. Let's see here. Right here. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Whew! That's scary. Okay, now it's on the front right here, right next to the oil container. Um, you guys can see that. Now you need mark, you need G60 starter bolts to do this, okay? Uh, the bracket is right here. I don't have a part number for you guys on this one. Uh, this is what it looks like. So pay close attention to what this bracket looks like. You can only use two out of the three bolts on here, okay, for this bracket. Because the uh, third one doesn't really have a mounting point for it. So, you see that. Now, I highly recommend when you guys get this one going, mount the bracket and you'll notice these don't fit in here perfect because these are for a G60 uh, engine with a different type of uh, transmission and transmission has different style holes so you need to be careful um, but again this is only for uh, for mock-up purposes right now to show you guys and then when we get to that point we will make sure everything is done legitimately for you guys so those two bolts right here for the starter Now one thing that I did notice when I was uh, setting this one up, you guys can see really closely here, the bracket does kind of hit the uh, the, uh, star, uh, the starter housing. You might, once everything gets actually in place, you might want to grind this one down a little bit uh, just for, uh, I think for personal peace of mind. So this bracket does not hit the housing. I haven't gotten to that point yet, but uh, when I get to that and actually start doing the rest of the build, that would be a very key component to pay attention to down the road. Um, now the motor mount up in front, we, we're using a, a BBM motor mount. Uh, this is a solid mount, it's not a bushing style mount, so that just mounts like that and then it has two screws underneath. Very, very simple. Um, and then your engine's pretty much ready to install. So, the rear bracket has one bolt to hold this side on the transmission. This one right here has one bolt to get that lined up. And then the back one has three. So you get that going. And you'll see over here, this is where the solid mount goes the single bolt and the, the three bolts um, we are not going to be using these bush uh, these mounts uh, once the uh, build is done we're going to be going to uh, to a different company with better bushings so 
but this is just for the uh, install purpose. Okay, guys? So you guys can know how to do this. Okay, so now that you guys got all the brackets uh, bolted on and everything going, um, one big, big rule of thumb is make sure you don't drop the engine onto the mounts. You want to guide them in. We're going to show you, but we want to guide them in and slide them in pretty much um, to get them in pretty much in here. So um, try to do the back ones first and then the front one. The front one, you'll notice you see right here, it's not on tight. It's on here loosey goosey. Just put them in by hand. The reason why, because we need to be able to move the the bracket correctly, so I can uh, what's the word? Um, line it up correctly. Okay. So here we go. Pay attention to what we're doing, guys, so you guys can repeat it yourself on how to mount the 1.8T engine in your Mark uh, Mark II. Now the only reason why we're doing this is so you guys can see what is is needed to keep it consistent and to make sure that you guys can get everything else fitted for you guys okay oh some people will tell you you can use mark three brackets which is accurate however it might change the uh, distance on the front bracket some of the brackets on the mark threes don't fit a hundred percent you have to shimmy them or uh, cut into them to slide them back and forth uh, same with the rear brackets so Stick with Corrado G60 brackets. Just stick with those. It's a lot better. What are you doing? I'll push that side. Okay. Um. Make sure you also keep your engine pretty high up um, if you're not going to mount the bottom brace. I kept everything in place. That way it just goes down and line it up a lot easier. Uh, some people like to take that cross member out and then put it in and then bolt it into place. Alright, so now that we're kind of in, this is where you guys got to pay attention to alignments and kind of the angles. You'll notice this guy's kind of crooked, um, which is okay. I may tilt it down. No, no, it's fine. So, and you want to go down and you want to move this a little bit. Okay, that's where we want to be. Now we're actually. It's still going down. Is it? Yeah. That's fine. Oh, not anymore. So what I'm trying to do is line up the transmission mount first. That's what's going to keep me all, all the weight on here. And then the engine will start sagging on this side down. So if you have a partner, just have them keep it right here. Partner on this side, babe. So you'll see that I let it just sag down. It's still floating a little bit because we need it so we can slide things around. So the 
that first thing is we're going to want to do the the transmission mount first. Can I move the camera in? You can, yeah. You want to film for me? <coughs> Can I take it off? Or just... Oh, you can just use it like that. And do it by hand. Don't try to like... Where are you? Okay. You're not even... Yeah. At all. Right there. You... So once you have that one going up in front, and slide over your your engine one or your front one. That's why we do it all loose and just give a couple little turns underneath. That way your engine doesn't move around too much. And then we do the three in the back. Right over here. everything lines up accordingly you should be able to slide these in pretty easily So over here you wanna you have to go that close but you wanna get this one started first. Once you get this one going, then you wanna start the back one. Back here, you get these in by hand. So I'm going to take a couple threads. Once you do that, then you can start putting your engine down. Keep filming. Yeah. Once you lower it a little bit more, give everything a little wiggle. Make sure you can still put it in by hand, threading everything, like one of them right now is giving me an issue. Like that. And now you can do the front mount. Remember the same thing we're doing, we're going to wiggle it in there.
Now, if they don't go in by hand, then they're not going in correctly. Um, every bolt that went on here, threaded in by hand, even though how old this car is, everything is going in by hand. Now, I emphasize that a lot. It's very, very important. You should be able to put everything on here by hand. And once you lay the engine down, it should pretty much just float after that. Um, then you can torque everything back down. Uh, like this one over here. Let me move it more. Now, we're going to grab our extension and tighten everything down just a little bit. We're not going to torque it down. All I'm trying to do here is do a mock-up so everything fits in here nicely. Alright, tie up the trans bolt. So once you have everything set, do the final, final drop here. And chain is loose. You guys can see this. There's no tension on the engine. The engine is mounted. That's it guys. Whew. Um, this was a little bit more difficult than last time I did it by myself, uh, but I think it's just because I forgot my pattern to do it, but yeah. So remember, the back left bolt first, get that lined up, put it in by hand, then the, f uh, the rear left um, bracket, uh, do those in by hand, and then finally the front bracket, uh, make sure everything's loose, do it by hand, done. Uh, right now everything is sitting on the engine so there's no tension on this chain so we know that the engine is in Once you guys get to see all that so that's the rear uh, right transmission bracket front uh, bracket engine mount and then left rear bracket right here and that's it that is your basic install for this engine uh, next we're pretty much gonna start shaving the bay and get it all ready so thanks again for watching today for watching this episode of Pinch House Garage on how to mount a 1.8 engine in a Mark II pretty straightforward so uh, as always we're gonna break fix and repeat so peace out everybody and wife.